but I first got into Funkos, um, it's actually through one of my friends, I wasn't very interested in them, didn't think much of them to begin with, but I thought quite an addictive personality, so when I started seeing them selling Funkos that were like on some of my favourite shows or some of my favourite movies, that's how I started getting into them. So I got one or two and then through my addictive personality that's when it never really stopped really and they keep bringing out relentless amounts of Funkos all the time so that's pretty much my life from now on. I am an inbox collector, uh, for me it's all about getting hold of sort of rares and uh, exclusives in order to sort of retain maybe to get some sort of value because some Funkos are ridiculous, they give ridiculous amounts of money. Um, not really a big fan of sort of common, I will, I will buy them or I'll try and get them done as sort of presents if I can but I'll try and buy as many exclusives as I can basically to retain sort of value but yeah massively in box. I think one of those things for me as well is keeping them in the box, they're quite quite uniform when you stick them all together, you can have a nice little wall of pops and it just looks kind of really nice on display. One of my favourite pops, um, I've got a V for Vendetta pop. Uh, so V from V for Vendetta, it's, it's a vaulted pop, it's quite exclusive, it's quite hard to get hold of now. It's vaulted and yeah, I just think sort of design, it's just as it came out of that phase where they just stopped being sort of really basic faced pops and now they've got so much detail. That's another thing which is uh, stealing my money. When I started me collecting this, I saw some in um, quite a few of the regular shops I went into and I saw how many there was. Like I. I'm a really big superhero nerd, so I saw like Batman ones and and really cool ones from the, like the TV shows I was watching. So I started getting them and getting into them, and they were really cool. And, um, but after soon, I ended up with loads of them. I would have to say the Gilla the Griller two pack. I really like that one. It's really cute, and I it is. It's like a really cartoony, funny thing. I haven't seen the actual cartoon, but it, it just looks really cool. I'm an inbox collector because personally it looks better in cabinets and um, and it's got the numbers on and the stickers on and, and like you can get the San Diego Comic Con ones and, and you've got the sticker to say it is San Diego Comic Con one, uh, a San Diego Comic Con one. Um, but if you take it out of the box, you can't see that and I like to see which one's which. Because of my OCD, um, box condition matters to me quite a bit, so I have to get ones with really good box conditions and really good um, paint work, otherwise I won't get it.